All right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to bring in a character from Mixamo and actually animate uh, him in our game. So I already selected a character. One thing I want you to be careful, if ever you open it up and for some reason your character is dancing, we don't want to start with the animated one. We want to start the one in the T pose. So let's get that one. And so I'm going to download it right now and make sure it'll say T pose. You know you have the right one. So we're going to download this first. And then after, we're going to go get the animation. Okay, so let's go click here. And one thing I'm going to suggest is create a folder called character. And what we're going to do is I already did that, gave it a nice color. I'm going to import, import, and bring in the main character here. And the animations are going to go in this folder that I created. So let's go get him. Well, actually, I probably, as he downloaded, let me double check that. And yes, and it'll have a name like this, C809 non-PBR or something. So that's how you know. If it says something like dancing or whatever, you know you got the wrong one. So I'm going to go and upload this. So probably at the bottom here for me. So there we go. So this is gonna, don't click on anything, but I'm going to suggest that we uh, change this. This is usually a, like this. Just change it to animated time. Click import all. So once you have one of these in, what you got, you're going to do is go back to your Mixamo and select an animation. Now we're going to do like we did in our previous uh, video. We're going to go and get a dance of some kind. So I don't know. It's just, you know, a funny dance. So let's go with this one and let's see what it looks like. Just make sure there's not a lot of, you know, the character it do, it doesn't work this one because you see it goes through its is static mesh so we don't want that one snake hip hop so let's see what that one looks like now you can always adjust here so it's pretty good overall i think i'm gonna keep that one well you know what i, I prefer like mamba or something let's go like whoops so type the mamba let's just put that in let's see what it looks like Okay, and he's not in place, so that's a problem. So we want to dance where he doesn't move, where he pretty much stays in the same spot. So just make sure of that. So I'm going to wait, watch the whole thing, and see if there's any errors. You might have to space out the arms on some of the characters. Okay, so remember that. So this one looks pretty good. I'm going to download them. And you see, now, it's not, now we're going to remove the skin because we already brought it in with that previous upload. So click Download. And here it is. So what I want to do now is go to my project and I'm going to open, create an animation folder if you already haven't done it. And I'm going to import uh, that animation. We're just going to bring one in, okay? And now this is a really important thing. You want to select a skeleton. Now you remember it was called CH09, so perfect. So we just have to select that one. Whatever the name was that when you downloaded for Mixamo the first time, that's what you select. So import all. So there's my animation brought in. I'm going to save all just so I don't lose everything if it crashes because it likes to crash. I'll make sure you do the same thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag him into the level to do a little bit of a test. So I'm going to just wait for this to be done. Okay, so I drag him in, and I'm going to click Alt S, which is simple. don't don't press play. Okay, so press Alt S because we just want to see what it will do when we're in the game. Perfect, that's what we want. We want him dancing. Now, one thing you may want to do is put him close to your character, uh, so that we don't have to run all over the place to go find it. And for those of you who are doing just the basic uh, non-enriched, I'll accept this. Uh, but we're going to continue, and we're going to actually now go and create a blueprint with this and actually go get a sound. So what I'm going to do is I went to YouTube and I'm going to actually look for a sound and I actually downloaded, downloaded one called, uh, so just type like whatever sound, sound you want. So, so we're going to go, um, you know, sound, I want to be your friend or something. Okay. And what you want to do 
is look for a sound file. Okay, and uh, give me a second. So I just type sound sound file, and I found one that's kind of. I just want to be friends. Yep, whatever you want, as long as it's you know fits for a school. And you type here, and what you want to do is go get. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this, but uh, M YouTube to WAV file. So you don't want MP3 and download it. And uh, what I'm going to do now is upload the sound cue to. And I created another folder in case I wanted to have a couple different sounds, a couple different characters saying different sounds, which you would have to make different blueprints. I'm not going to show you to do that, but you can probably figure it out. So what I'm going to do is import into the game, and I'm going to scroll and make sure you listen to the sound. And again, like I said, it needs to be a WAV file. So here's my I just want to be friend WAV file. So I'm going to bring that in. And immediately when you bring it in, convert it to a sound cue, okay, or else it won't work in the engine. So there you go. So this is the wave, but you need this as a, a piece of code, basically. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my blueprint. And I'm going to create a character now. And this is, you know, I'm going to call it uh, I want to be friends or whatever. Okay. I'll just leave it like that there. Click over. Open it. And I'm going to also dock this up here so it's easier to click back and forth. And I'm going to actually uh, go and get a skeletal mesh because that's what uh, we actually need. We're not just going to drag the animation. For those of you who are just doing the basic, you can drag in an animation. But, you know, you should try and do this. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go get the skeletal mesh. And I remember the skeletal mesh you selected. It's the same thing. You want to use the same skeleton as uh, whatever that animation was called. I'm just looking for it. Here it is, CH09. That was the name that we had selected. So what I'm gonna do is drop it in here. It needs to be in this capsule, uh, more or less. So if it's a little bit big, just use your WER keys. Uh, and what I need to do is, you see where this blue arrow is? You definitely need to rotate, rotate 90 degrees. Make sure it's not 75 or 95, it should be 90 degrees. So it's facing the right way. So it'll not look crooked. And um, the other thing we want to do now is we're going to go get the animation from that. But we're not going to use a blueprint. So we're going to use an asset. And what's the name of the asset? Well, it's the Samba Dancing. So this is what your guy, now we already have him dancing the level. The difference is this is a blueprint. So we're going to give this a little bit of code. And we're going to add Pond Sensing, which is basically building an AI really basic AI in our uh, so type upon sensing and so you just click on it and re-click on it and you got to compile which is always something students forget and I don't you know this it says basically anything it sees but I prefer changing this to uh, 90 degrees and kind of creating a cone here so see let's just do this and I'm gonna go like this so whatever walks in front here will trigger something okay then that's what we're trying to do i'm going to compile and save this and just like we've already learned we're going to go to event graph and well probably the smart thing to do is select this pawn sensing go all the way down on c pawn we want something to happen so what we have to do is the pawn has to see the third person character, which is you. So if you brought in another character, like first person character, you would just write first person character. And so let's cast to third person character and make sure to link this because it links uh, the pawn to the object. And what we want to do is we're going to, for now, just do once or else it'll just repeat it over and over. So that command is very useful. So do once. And what do we want it to do? We, well, we want it to play sound at the location. So play sound at location. And what sound? Well, you already uploaded the sound that you want. And I converted it to a sound cue. But probably it'll work with the WAV file alone, uh, by the way. But uh, so I just got to see it. If you remember what it's called, it's probably easier to look it up. There it is. I just went by it. So just here. So I'm going to click Compile. And save so be sure there's no any errors. Sometimes people forget to connect this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag them in the level. I think I've already done that. So 
Make sure, by the way, the delete. It might be that you have, yeah, if you see the, the green, if you had dragged this guy in, make sure it's this one. And, and you see the little pawn sensing. So that's where I have to walk in front of him. If I'm behind him, he won't see me, okay? So file, play, and let's just, when he sees you. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do this. I'm going to ask you to figure out how do I change the code so that if I go through here again, it'll play again. So there's a couple ways to do it. So that's a little challenge for you. Uh, anyways, and what you could do is drop a bunch of these in the level or make one or two with different sounds. Another thing that you could try is your character that we built in Blender. Uh, if you want to try and bring that character in after you've done this one because the blender character comes in really large so you'll have to shrink him down and maybe you just you know that's an enrichment thing as well so if there's any questions let me know otherwise uh, have fun